To practice naming compounds, we're going to use the periodic table to see what type of compound we have. If we have two nonmetals, we're going to use Greek prefixes. If we have a metal and a nonmetal, we have to see if the metal needs a Roman number. And so we're just going to uh, start with these six compounds to name. So if we break apart the, if we draw a line after the first atom, we can see this is a metal and this is a nonmetal. Does aluminum need a Roman number? So it's not a transition metal. We know the charge on aluminum and we have Cl, the atom, there's only one of them, so this is a simple metal and a nonmetal. So this is aluminum chloride because symbols on the periodic table, nonmetals, turn into ide endings. Okay. The next one, we draw a line after the first atom and we look, is N a metal or a nonmetal? Well, that's a nonmetal. So we have nonmetal, nonmetal, so we use Greek prefixes here. So this is nitrogen, Tri chloride. We have to say how many chlorides there are because we have two nonmetals. Okay. This we draw a line after the first atom. Nickel is a transition metal. So we find it on the periodic table. That's when we realize it's going to need a Roman number. So that's transition metal non metal. So this is nickel something chloride. For a metal and a non-metal, we name the metal and we name the non-metal. This metal just requires a Roman number. So we have to look at this and figure out what the charge is. So we use the charge on chloride so again, chlorine is in the minus one column. So if we have three negative ones, this nickel must be a positive three. So this is nickel Roman number three chloride. So the name of the compound needs the charge and we have to figure out what the charge is to put that in as a Roman number. Number four, we draw a line after the first atom. This is a simple metal. Simple meaning we always know what its charge is. So we don't have to say aluminum, Roman number three, because aluminum always has the same charge. And this is a poly or a group. Okay, so this is aluminum. And I told you I would give you the eights on a test. This is chlorate. So if we look back at our polyatomic list, chlorate is the one in bold. Chlorite is the one that's got one less oxygen. Okay. So aluminum chloride and aluminum chlorate sound very similar, but they're two very different compounds. Okay. Now if we look at this next one, that's just a simple metal, so meaning its charge never changes, and this is another poly. So if we look on the periodic table, SO3, this is not the one in bold. This is sulfite. This is sulfate. This is sulfite. So sodium does not need a Roman number because it's a simple metal. This is sodium sul. Fight. That's a polyatomic ion, and with a negative 2 charge, that's why this has two sodiums. But when we're naming, we don't care about the formula unless we need to use the formula to figure out a charge on a metal. This one I put here on purpose because SO3 here is sulfite, but SO3 all by itself this is non-metal, non-metal. So this is a whole different kind of creature. 
This is a covalent compound. We use Greek prefixes, so this is sulfur trioxide.